dumb but is here to entertain you. Mandisa is one person who deserves nothing but happiness, love and attention upon everything she went through in her other marriage with Senzo Meiwa eight years ago before Senzo departed from this world. It is just very unfortunate that Mandisa really did not find happiness at the end of her marriage. The last days of her marriage were not so full of roses. This time around, she has actually taken a monumental and iconic step, a great step towards her own happiness, a great step in order to ensure that her family doesn't suffer no more. She wants to ensure that she stays happy for the rest of her life and people decide to insult her, blame her and throw fingers at her. Do well to watch this video right up to the end because things are getting so sad. Mandisa is definitely being blamed and accused of actually finding a new person in her life, a new partner in her life that she has found solace in, she has found love in. Mandisa has decided to move on and everyone is complaining about that. She is in a new relationship with a wealthy man. Do well to watch this video. Before I give you all the information proper, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video. Drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell. Mandisa happens to be the ex-wife of Senzo Meiwa. Senzo Meiwa was actually shot in Vosloru sometime in October 2014, but unfortunately for him, no justice has been levied as far as his case is concerned. The case is currently ongoing in court and the witnesses who are actually present at the house are actually trying to testify and giving their point of views. But unfortunately, Tumelo Manlala, who happens to be Senzo Meiwa's best friend, has fallen off the bus and of course isn't doing things according to what Mzanzi expected. This very beautiful girl here, Mandisa, is even blamed at some point of even being responsible for claiming Senzo Meiwa's life, saying that she was never in accordance with the fact that Senzo was dating Kelly Kumalo, but still, Kelly Kumalo is the only person who has been pointed fingers at for claiming Senzo's life and not Mandisa. Some people even allege that she hired hitmen in order to claim Kelly Kumalo's life, but unfortunately, he had to hit on Senzo Meiwa. How true is this? I really don't know. But this time around, she has decided to move on with her life, and people were so bitter about this. They want Mandisa to get back into the slums. They want Mandisa to actually stay back, you know, with a very, very accrued mentality, but this is not what God has actually planned for her. When several people actually discovered that she is dating this very wealthy man right now, people were even doubting, saying that, why did she decide to move on? Why couldn't she wait till Senzo Meiwa's case has come to an end before she moves on? Why isn't she so active as far as Senzo Meiwa's court case is concerned? All of these, if you ask me, I would say are irrelevant questions because Mandisa has actually taken her own fair share of the dose and she is a young and beautiful lady who has to fetch more love and happiness somewhere else. Senzo Meiwa cared for his family so very much, especially his kids. His goal was to raise them in a warm and safe environment. That actually explains why one of the beautiful things, one of the greatest things that Mandisa has done is of course to complete Senzo Meiwa's house that he started so many years ago and of course she is very much happy about this completion because that was a promise she made to him when he departed from this world. What was more painful was the fact that he left his kids homeless. They did not have a place of their own. So, when he passed on, my father, who happens to be Senzo Meiwa's father, was approached by one of the tycoons who promised to finish the house. But that promise never came through. For the past eight years, that house was a hub of vagrants. We used to find all sorts of dirt. We tried to maintain and keep it clean, but it was so difficult because of its location, says Senzo Meiwa's brother. At some point, we were not even sure what to do with it, but selling it, thank God for Mandisa. Tell me what you think about all of this.